One of the problems we often deal with when we're given connected body problems uh, is the elevator problem. Uh, generally speaking, we end up with an elevator hung over a frictionless pulley and there's a counterweight on the other side. And we need to deal with uh, usually two questions. One of them is, what's the acceleration of the system? And the second one is, uh, what's the tension in the cable? And so it's useful to think of the elevator and the counterweight as uh, just being connected in a straight line and changing our frame of reference a little bit. Depending on the direction of the system, it really won't matter which frame of reference you choose. Uh, direction is going to be positive or negative. We know we're going to have two forces operating on this. One of them is gravity on the elevator and the other is the force of gravity on the counterweight. And those are reasonably easy to calculate. After that, you're treating the system as one body. And all you have to really calculate is the acceleration using Newton's second law, which says the net force is equal to the mass of the system times its acceleration. Once we've calculated the acceleration, the next question is, what is the tension in the cable? If you know the acceleration of the system, you can consider one body by itself. So let's consider the counterweight. The counterweight is going to have a net force, and that net force is responsible for accelerating this. I already know what my acceleration is, so I can calculate the net force. A second quantity that I can calculate is the force of gravity on the counterweight. And knowing that all of my vectors need to sum up to zero, I can calculate my force of tension fairly easily just by looking at those three vectors. There's my tension vector, there's my gravity vector, and there is my resulting net force vector. So that's how we can go about calculating tension in the cable. Tension will be equal and opposite in direction throughout the cable. So the tension in the cable attached to the elevator is the same as the tension in the cable attached to the counterweight.